Hello everyone, I'm Connor, and today I'll be presenting the solution to the Yusuko February 2024 contest, Silver Problem 3, Moorables. In this game, Bessie and Elsie are playing a game where on each round, Bessie chooses some number of marvels, and Elsie chooses uh, either even or odd. If Elsie is correct about Bessie's marbles, like for instance if Elsie says even when Bessie chooses four mar marbles, then Elsie will win all of the marbles. Otherwise, if Elsie is wrong, then Elsie will lose some of her marbles. So for instance, in this first round here, uh, and yeah, so every round, Bessie has only some certain choices to choose from, and Elsie uh, seems she'll choose one of those, but she doesn't know which one Bessie will choose. So for instance, in this first round, Elsie knows that Bessie will choose either three, four, or five, Elsie chooses to say that Bessie will choose odd, and if Bessie chooses a five here, then Elsie will win those five marbles. Uh, for the second round, uh, Elsie could say that Bessie chooses even, Oops. and then if Bessie chooses six, then Elsie will win the six marbles. Uh, if Elsie is wrong, for instance, if Elsie says even, and Bessie chooses a seven, then yeah, then Elsie will lose seven marbles because she's wrong about it being even. And we can't have we can't have Elsie ever go below zero marbles. So Elsie starts with a certain number of marbles, and we can't ever go below zero marbles. Or two zero marbles. So we're given all of these different rounds, and we want to find the lexicographically minimum turn sequence for Elsie that make sure that she'll never lose any, or she'll never lose the game if she plays those moves, no matter what Bessie chooses. So how do we solve this problem? Well, one observation we can make is that we always want to assume the worst. So for instance, we want to assume that uh, if Bessie or if Elsie chooses even, then Bessie will either choose the worst odd number or the worst even number. And similarly, if Beth or Elsie chooses the other one. So we can make kind of a table here. And this table shows the worst possible outcomes for either of Elsie's choices. So in this case, if Elsie cho chooses even, then the worst possible outcome is that Bessie chooses five. So Elsie loses five. If Elsie chooses odd, the worst outcome is that Bessie chooses four, so then Elsie would lose four. In this case, the worst outcome if Elsie chooses even is that she gains two. It's impossible for Bessie to make Elsie lose money if Elsie chooses even. But if uh, but if Bessie chooses or Elsie chooses odd, then the worst case here is that she loses eight. Finally, in this last case here, if she chooses even, she can lose nine. But if she chooses odd, she would only lose two. So what would our lexicographically minimum uh, answer look like here? Let's say that Bessie starts with, for instance, six marbles. So first of all, she can choose either even or odd here, and uh, Elsie would want to choose even in this case because that's lexicographically earlier than odd, so she goes down to one marble. And in this case, uh, Elsie would want to choose two, or even again, because A, that gives her more marbles, and she loses a lot if she chooses odd, and B, even is still less so graphically less than odd, so we'd go up to three marbles here. And finally, uh, even though we'd want to choose even, because it's less so graphically less, uh, we can't choose even because that would cause her to lose too many marbles. So in this case, we have to choose odd, bringing down her, her bringing her down to one marble, so our choices here are even, even odd. So notice that at every step, we want to try and choose even, since it's less lexicographically smaller, but we not, we're not sure whether we can do that always, because it might cause Elsie to go down to below the minimum number of marbles. So essentially our solution would boil down to at every step, seeing if even is possible. If it is, then choose it. Otherwise, we have to choose odd. So to do this, we're going to use the strategy where for each round, 
We want to commute. We want to compute the minimum number of marbles we need to win from this point, no matter what choices we make. Because if we are able to do this, then we're able to see whether even whether choosing even would cause us to fall below the minimum number of marbles, in which case, in which case we can't do that. So it turns out that we can calculate this actually using only the information from the next round. So let's say we're looking at round i, and we've already calculated that round i plus 1 takes 8 marbles to win. Then let's say we also know that taking even, taking, picking even as our amount of marbles would cause us to go to minus 5. So taking even would cost us 5 marbles, and taking odd would cost us 3 marbles, for instance. And what's the minimum number we need to win from round i? So since odd only costs 3 marbles, we're actually able to win with 11 marbles, because if we take 3 marbles away from us, then this would leave us with 8 marbles left. So that would mean that we would still have enough wins to win on the next round. If we had any fewer marbles than 11, then no matter what we choose, it would be impossible to win. Now let's consider another case, where we're on round j, and we know that round j plus 1 takes 3 minimum to win. And we know that even actually gives us 6 marbles, and choosing odd actually gives us negative 3. So we might want to do something similar to the previous time, where uh, we want to choose the maximum number here. So in this case, we choose 6, and we needed 6 fewer marbles than the previous one to win. So if we had negative 3 marbles here, then we'd be able to win because uh, on the next round we'll have three, and then we do whatever after that. But actually, we the negative three wouldn't be the answer for this round. Remember that we need to have at least one marble in every round, otherwise they automatically lose. So we actually wouldn't have negative three in this round. We would need a minimum of one to win, even though this leaves us with surplus marbles if we choose even. So let's try and write this into a formula. So let's say that we take the maximum of these, and we call this a cost. So this is how much the next round will cost us. So here's what our formula for needed would be. The needed of the round i is the maximum of 1, which is like the minimum for any round, and needed i plus 1, which is the next round, minus our cost. So if we compute this backwards, starting from the last round, going all the way back to the beginning, we're able to check at each round whether we're able to take even, and if we are, then we can choose even, otherwise we choose odd. We do have a little bit of an edge case here. If our, we start out with fewer marbles than we need, then we know that our, this is going to immediately be impossible to win, so we can just output negative 1. So let's try running this on the sample case. So by def let's try and calculate the needed array first. By definition, the needed array for the last round or the round past the last round is one, since we always need to end with at least one marble. So now we find the minimum here. So the minimum or the maximum of these two is going to be negative two. So our cost, cost is negative two. And this means that using our formula, we need at least three marbles by this round in order to win. And on this one, our cost is going to be equal to two. So by this round, uh, we use our formula to calculate that our needed is going to be one. So by this round, we'll need at least one marble to win. And then for this one, our cost is going to be negative four. So in this case, we'll need at least five marbles to win. But you'll notice that in our cost, we chose the odd one first, but in our minimum solution when we initially saw this, we actually chose even first. This is because if we start with six marbles, then we actually have a little bit of the leeway with the even. And remember that we want to always keep greedily choosing even until it brings us below our needed cost, in which case we're forced to choose odd. So yeah, that's the general idea of our solution. Now let's look at some code. So here's my C++ code for this problem. So first of all, we do all the calculating of the cost for each marble. So 
in, we store those in the array, uh, or even cost and odd cost. Even cost is how much it costs if we choose uh, the even, and odd cost is how much it costs if we choose odd. So we loop through all of Bessie's choices. If Bessie's choice is even, then if Elsie chooses even, I'm actually going to store the negative of the cost. So the cost is going to be positive if we lose marbles, negative if we gain marbles. So in this case, we set it to be negative A, because in this case we would gain A marbles if we chose even and Bessie chose even. Uh, if it's odd, meanwhile, we lose A marbles. And in the opposite case, we would lose A marbles if we chose even and gain A marbles if we chose odd. And we find the maximum over all of those, so that's kind of like finding the worst case. And then we add those to our even costs and odd costs arrays. So now we calculate this uh, needed array, except I call it minimum suffix. So we calculate this for all suffixes of the rounds. And we keep track of how, what's our current minimum needed marbles. So at first we start off with one, and then we loop through all the rounds backwards. Uh, we calculate our formula here. So this is going to be the thing where it's like the next round plus the minimum cost. Note this is a plus because we're storing the negative costs. And then if it's less than one, then we set it to be equal to one because we can't ever have a zero no matter what. So, and then we set the array to be that value. And then, now from here, we can start calculating the answer. So, first of all, we have our edge case here. If we don't have enough marbles to begin with, then we can immediately output negative one. Otherwise, we loop through all the rounds. First, we check it even as possible. So, let's say we have n marbles currently. Then if we wanted to take the even choice, we subtract off the even cost and check to see if that's at least the minimum amount we need. If it is, then we take away that from our normal marbles and add an even. Otherwise, then we know we can't choose even, so we choose odd. And finally, this is just some output printing. And yeah, that's the entire solution. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching.